Welcome back to Property Ask Echo. South Africa's property market is a battlefield where only the smartest investors win. So, what's your best move? Is it flipping houses for quick gains or holding on to rental properties for steady long term growth? Today, we are diving into this epic showdown house flipping South Africa versus rental property. Which wins? Stay tuned because this could change the way you invest forever. You might want to save this video for future reference. South African property market is like a well-prepared poiki course. Rich, diverse, and sometimes a little unpredictable. Interest rates, economic conditions, and demand for all play a role in shaping the market. For example, recent trends have shown a surge in urban property values, especially in Johannesburg and Cape Town, while rural areas are seeing slower growth. But whether you are looking to flip a property for quick profit or settling into a long-term rental strategy, it's important to understand the lay of the land. So let's break down these two strategies. Now, when comparing house flipping and rental property, it's like choosing between bungee jumping and hiking up Table Mountain, both trailing in their own way, but they require different mindsets, preparation, and expectations. We'll compare these strategies based on profitability, risk, time investment, and long-term versus short-term benefits. For instance, in recent years, house flippers in Johannesburg have seen an average ROI of about 15 to 20%, while rental properties in Cape Town are yielding a more modest but steady 6 to 8% annually. These numbers can vary, but they give you a ballpark to start from. Let's start with house flipping. It's the property market version of speed dating. Quick, exciting, and sometimes a bit risky. The idea is to buy low, renovate fast, and sell high in all a matter of months. Well, if you play your cards right, you could make a tidy profit in a short time. For example, flippers who bought in Soweto before the 2020 market boom saw property value rise by 25% in just six months. Plus, it's a chance to tap into your inner interior designer and transform a fixer upper into someone else's dream home. But here's the kicker. House flipping is not for the faint hearted. You need to have a good eye for market trends, a solid budget, and a team you trust to get the job done on time. And let's not forget, if the market shifts while you are in the middle of renovation, like it did during the pandemic, you could end up with a house that's harder to sell than you expected. Now, let's talk rental properties, the tortoise in the race. Slow and steady, but with the promise of consistent returns. With rentals, you are not just buying a property, you are buying a future income stream. The beauty of rental property is the potential for long-term growth. You've got monthly rental income, the property value appreciates over time, and if you are lucky, you might even snag some tax benefits. For instance, rental property in Cape Town's City Ball have appreciated over 50% in the last decade. But here is the catch. Being a landlord is not a walk in the park. There is tenant management, maintenance issues, and the occasional unexpected expenses that eat into your profits. And let's be honest, sometimes you will feel like a part-time therapist as well as an investor. Let me share a quick story. A friend of mine, let's call him Teboho, decided to flip a house in Johannesburg's northern suburb. He bought the place for a bargain, poured his savings into a slick renovation, and boom, the market dipped. It took him an extra six months to sell, and while he did make a profit, 
it was nowhere near what he expected. On the other hand, my cousin Fifi invested in a rental property in Cape Town. It wasn't glamorous, but he's been collecting steady rental income for years and the property's value has appreciated nicely. Sure, she's had her share of tenant drama, but the long-term rewards have been worth it. So, which strategy should you choose? If you've got a strong stomach for risk and a knack for quick turnarounds, house flipping could be your ticket to fast profits. But if you are more of a slow and steady investor who values long-term security, rental property might be the better choice. Remember, it all comes down to your financial goals, risk tolerance, and how much time you are willing to invest. Both paths have their perks and pitfalls, so choose wisely. To wrap things up, whether you are flipping or renting, the key is to stay informed and be prepared for the unexpected. South Africa's property market is full of opportunities, but it is up to you to decide which strategy will help you win. If you are interested in starting with house flipping, check out my video on budgeting for your first flip. It's packed with tips to help you get started on the right foot. And if you are leaning towards rental properties, I've got a guide on how to screen tenants effectively that you won't want to miss. And to top it off, book a free consultation with me to get personalized advice and take the next step in your investment journey. So what's your take? Are you team house flipping or do you prefer steady path of rental property? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to vote in the poll. Which investment strategy do you think wins? I'm excited to see where you all stand. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more property insights. And as always, if you have any question, drop them in the comments or reach out directly. Until next time, be a legacy builder and happy investing.